All right, this is fourth grade module three, lesson two. And in this lesson, we're going to be solving multiplicative comparison word problems by applying area and perimeter formulas. Basically, what they're saying is we're going to be using some word problems where the students are being told like the length is three times as long as the width and, and that kind of vocabulary, that multiplicative comparison, twice as big or three times as long. And so students are going to be taught to use um, drawings to help them organize their thinking. So we have a rectangular pool. It's seven feet wide, and it's three times as long as it is wide. All right, so now uh, we're going to say, because I can see the drawing is saying so, that this direction is the length and this direction is the width. And what they've done is they've taken this picture, the um, word problem, and they've drawn us the picture that it should look. So you can see that this is seven feet. So this little unit length right here is seven feet, and this pool is three times as wide. So we've got one, two, three. And so what that means is this is seven feet, this is seven feet, and this is seven feet. So that tells us the entire length is 21 feet. So we know that the width is seven, and we know the length is 21, which is 21 feet, which is three times as long. So the question is, well, what's the perimeter of the pool? So the perimeter is two times the length plus the width. In case you remember or have forgotten, length plus the width is these two sides right here. And we multiply by two because we have the other two sides. So it's going to be two times, and we're going to add, let's see, 21 plus 7. So 21 plus 7 is 28. And then we multiply that by 2, and we get 56. So the perimeter is 56 feet. So that means the distance to walk all the way around the pool is 56 feet. So here we basically have a similar problem, only this time they're going to make us draw the diagram. So let's go back and read. It says a poster is three inches long. It is four times as wide as it is long. All right, so I'm going to, let's see, draw three inches long and then four times as wide. So that's going to be one, two, three, four. Okay, so now you can see over here. So this part is the three inches long right here and then the width is four times as wide. All right, So it's four times as wide as it is long. So we've got four times for the width compared to the length. So that means this is three inches this is three inches, this is three inches, and this is three inches. So the entire width is 12 inches. All right, so there's our drawn diagram, and we've labeled its dimensions. Now, by the way, parents, teachers, don't freak out. If a student wants to instead draw the picture like this, Uh, sideways, horizontally, that is okay as well, because in math land, the way we think of this, length and width are interchangeable in terms of the dimensions, uh, because multiplication is commutative, addition is commutative, so uh, it really, length times width, width, width times length, it's all the same. So if a student wants to draw it this way instead, that, that's perfectly fine. Or this way, it's also perfectly fine. So find the perimeter. Well, the perimeter 
is 2 times length plus width. So that means it's going to be 2 times 3 plus 12. And teachers, if your students aren't sure where this is coming from, make sure you pause the video and help students figure that out, which is going to be 2 times 15, which is 30. So the perimeter is equal to 30 inches. What does that mean? That means the distance around the rectangle, this poster, the distance around this poster is 30 inches. So this is a two-parter here. We've got the area of Nathan's bedroom rug is 15 square feet, and the longer side measures 3 feet. I better underline some of this stuff. So the area of his rug is 15 square feet, and then the longer side measures 5 feet. Now, if we look at question A, it says draw the diagram of Nathan's bedroom. So we've got this bedroom rug. So the bedroom rug has an area of 15 square feet and so I'm going to put 15 square feet is the area and the longer side we're told is 5 feet and the question is well what's the width? What's the shorter side? And that's pretty straightforward the shorter side is 3 feet, and that's because 3 times 5 is 15. All right. So we now know that the width is 3 feet, and we know the length is 5 feet. All right. So now we go to this next... Oh, so what's the perimeter? Ooh, I forgot this part. So what's the perimeter? Well, the perimeter of his rug is going to be 2 times length plus width which is 2 times 5 plus 3, which is 2 times 8, which is 16. So the perimeter is 16 feet. So if we wanted to walk all the way around that rug, we would have to walk 16 feet. So question B says, um, oh, here. His living room rug is twice as long and twice as wide as the bedroom rug. So let's draw. There's the bedroom rug, but we want twice as long. So it's going to look like this. There's twice as long, and we want twice as wide. So originally we had three feet and five feet, but now we have another three feet and we have another five feet. So what's the perimeter? So, well, first off, so that means this width is six feet and this length is ten feet. So if we want to find the perimeter, we're going to do perimeter is equal to 2 times length plus width, which is 2 times 10 plus 6. Because we've got right here the length is 10 and the width is 6. And so that's 2 times 16. So the perimeter is 32 feet. Holy moly. So let's go back and let's check this out. So draw and label. Whoa, sorry. Yikes. Uh, so here we go. And it says draw and label. We did his living room rug. It's twice as wide, twice as long. What's the perimeter? And the answer is 32 feet. And that wraps up 4th grade, Module 3, Lesson 2, where we continue talking about area and perimeter.